Hi there, in the following video I'm going to answer for you uh, the OCR call for June 2008 question 4. It's another video I'm doing on the vectors questions that come up in call 4. Let's look straight at the question. It says relative to the origin O, this is a key fact, the points in space A and B have position vectors as such. Find the vector equation of the line passing through AB. Now, I've said it quite a few times now, for a vector equation of a line, vector equation of line, you need two things. You need a point on the line, and you need to combine that with a multiple of the direction of the line. Okay, now both these points are uh, on the line passing through A and B, so you can choose either of them for your point on the line, and then you need a direction of the line. Well, to get a direction of the line, let's see what the direction is to get from A to B. Well, it's the position vector B, subtract the position vector A, would give us how to get from A to B. So that would be equal to... Uh, I plus 3J plus 4K subtract 3I plus 2J plus 3K. Okay, and we take those away from each other and we get minus 2I. Uh, 3 minus 2 is plus just 1J and 4 minus 3 is plus 1K. That's the direction of the line and we choose any point on the line. Let's choose the point A. Okay, so the vector equation of the line R is the point A, which is 3i plus 2j plus 3k, plus a multiple, and I'll call that multiple, let's say, lambda, of the direction between A and B. So of minus 2i uh, plus j plus k. Okay, and you're done there. I do tend to like to tidy it up and write that in one uh, column vector, so it's 3i's, take away 2 lambda, so it's 3 minus 2 lambda i, it's 2 uh, plus a lambda j, so 2 plus a lambda lots of j, and 3 plus lambda lots of k, 3 plus lambda lots of k. I tend to write uh, the, the equation in uh, that form there, so that's quite, kind of easier for me. Okay, uh, next section, let's just see what that says. That says... Find the position vector of the point P on AB such that OP is perpendicular to AB. Right, straight away, I'm going to say to myself, right, I'm drawing uh, a picture here. Okay, so here's my origin O. Okay, point A is, let's say, here. Okay, and that's the vector that gets you there. So there's the vector between O and A, and I'm going to call that little vector A. That's little vector A. And this is little vector B. I'm going to say B is, why don't we say B is over here somewhere. And the v position vector to get from O to B is this vector B. Okay? It says find the position vector of the point P on AB. Let's draw the line out AB. AB is some line that goes like that. I'm just going to send that to the back. So that's the line AB for us. We want to find the point P on AB such that O to P is perpendicular. So we want to find uh, this point here that, makes, uh, that meets the line AB at right angles. And we want to find the position of this point here. Okay, so just looking at the picture there, to get from this point to this point OP, uh, for it to be perpendicular, the vector OP, okay, um, taking the dot product with the direction of the line AB. Now, the direction of the line AB, uh, we said previously, was this here, minus 2, 1, 1. So, if I dot that with minus 2, 1, and 1, then they're going to be perpendicular. This helps me find P uh, because these two dot to 0, okay? Now... I also know that, o, that P is a point on the line, so it can have a position vector uh, 
in this form, okay? It has a position, it's on that line, so for some lambda, um, it has a it has a, a position that that works for that lambda. So I'm just going to take this and paste this over here. Apologies for that. I'm just going to paste that over here. I know that uh, p has these uh, positions for some lambda. So what I'm going to do is instead of putting in just a general a, b, and c for some point uh, p, I'm going to put in 3 minus 2 lambda for the i component, 2 plus lambda for the j component, and 3 plus lambda for the uh, k component. I'm going to dot that with the direction 2 minus 2, uh, 1, 1, and I know that's got to be equal to 0. Now if I multiply this out, this scalar product, and then I can solve for lambda to get what lambda must be. Then I can substitute lambda back into the equation of the line uh, and tell us what the position of point P is. So let's times this out. Uh, this times this would be minus 2 times 3 minus 2 lambda. Okay, and one lot of that, so it would be plus 2 plus lambda, plus one lot of that, plus 3 plus lambda. And I know this must equal 0, okay? Times it out, minus 6 plus 4 lambda, okay, plus 2 plus lambda, plus 3 plus lambda must equal 0. How many lambdas have we got? 4 and 1 and 1, we've got 6 lambdas. Minus 6, add 2, add 3, which is giving me minus 1. So lambda, solving that, must be a 6. Add 1 to both sides and divide by 6. Okay, but the question uh, 2 asks for the position of P. So just substitute lambda into uh, the equation of the line, which I, I said was here, and we're going to get the right answer. So uh, we're going to have 3 minus 2 lots of a 6, and 3 minus 2 lots of a 6 is 2 and 2 thirds. So that's 2 and 2 thirds J component. And we're going to have 2 plus lambda, which is 2 plus a 6, which is 2 and a 6. And we're going to have 3 plus lambda, which is 3 plus a 6, which is 3 and a 6. This is the position vector P that, um, such that OP meets AB perpendicularly. I hope you found the following useful in your revision for core 4.